I'm about to hit the gas. Oh. So we know with these particular cars, um, Scat Fats, Hellcats, things like that, we already got to worry about, you know, um, thefts and, and things of that nature. We got to worry about that happening when we park our cars. Now, that's not the only thing we got to worry about. Now, anybody with any sort of sports car or high-end car or anything like that, we actually have another thing that we have to worry about. We got to worry about those people that handle our cars that maybe you know working on our cars like mechanics stuff like that i had a situation happen a few months ago that has not been resolved to this day and i was waiting for it to be resolved but i'm gonna let y'all know what was going on and uh, before we do that i'm gonna drop the intro get a word from my sponsors i'm gonna tell y'all what's been going on man Today's video is brought to you by CarLock, the world's best vehicle tracker and alert system. With CarLock, you'll be able to track your car real time, get alerts of anything suspicious happening to your car, such as your car is starting when it shouldn't be starting, any vibrations. Also, if someone decides to unplug your car lock from your car, you'll get a notification for that too. You deserve that peace of mind and make sure you get your car lock. I do have a discount code for you guys shown on the screen right now. Get 10% off your purchase as well as 14 day free trial with the as well with that same discount code, man. Get your car lock. You deserve that peace of mind. Let's go ahead and get it to the video. YouTube family, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Thank y'all so much for tuning in on this particular video. If y'all are new here, we do a lot of car related things and, and talk about a lot of car related things on this particular channel. So if you like that, go ahead, like and then subscribe to the channel. We'll want you around for the long haul. And if you already done that, thank y'all so much, but we're not gonna hold you too long. We're gonna go ahead and get into the topic of today's video um you see the title and you see the thumbnail so i want to first give y'all a backstory as to why i was in the situation that i was in so you guys kind of know why i was there or whatnot so so pretty much at the top of the video i was talking about you know how we worry about these cars where we park them and all that type of stuff and all other cases um if you do have a high performance car sports car something like that you gotta worry about your mechanics that may work on the car uh, or valet or any other person that may handle your car or have to hand, handle your car if you're not the one driving it. So a few months ago, me and the wife or whatnot, we, for our anniversary, we did a little staycation in the area. Um, we don't stay particularly in Charlotte, so you know, we just got to stay in Charlotte, go out to dinner, have some fun, stuff of that nature. Um, so took my car um, and whatnot. We yeah, we actually stayed in a at a hotel um, uptown. Um, no, nothing cheap. It's a pretty nice hotel, solid hotel. Stayed there before, had no issues and things of that nature um and the reason i like staying there i, I took my car um the reason i like staying there in the parking is pretty secure um i had no issues with valet or anything like that before so i'm like cool let's stay there you know i, I take my car um i'm trust the parking I, I like i said no issues right so we get to the um hotel get checked in well we get to the hotel get our stuff out the car because when you pull up to the hotel what you have to do you gotta get your stuff out the car they'll take the keys and go valet park the car and stuff like that so we go get the stuff out the car blase blase you know do that they go valet park the car everything's fine there they come bring the car back because later on we end up going to dinner time to get in the car again going to dinner came back after dinner they took the car valet parked it again um and we end up checking out the next day uh we don't I mean we stayed there one night and checking out the next day or whatnot so like I said, we check out the next day, get home, and I, I know I have my dash cam stuff running the whole time. So I just want to know, you know, where they parked my car and all that type of stuff. I'm wanting to make, I wasn't really looking for any issues or anything. I just want to know where they parked my car um, that whole night. Like I said, no issues at all, period. Like I, I was looking at my car with car lock, had, had that on, shout out to car lock, had my dash cam, all that type of stuff. Um, really high scale um, hotel, right? So I'll go check my dash cam, saw some stuff that I ain't really like um with some of the valet so i'm gonna drop a couple of cl clips here and show y'all kind of what happened
so this first clip, right, was after I said we checked in and you can hear the valet person. Um, they have to go through the gate. There's a gate attendant there that they're talking to. You can hear, you kind of hear the, the, the gate stuff in the background, telling them to scan their card or whatnot. But he says, this thing is nice, whatever. Uh, and he even said out of his own mouth, I'll be scared to hit the gas on this mother. You know, he, he said that. He's getting encouraged by his coworkers. And he may have said, I couldn't tell um, the different voices. Then his coworker said, yeah, go ahead and hit it. You know, you're going to hear that thing and all that type of stuff. And then he says, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And he goes through the parking lot and stuff like it goes through the parking garage. He's trying to hit it. You can hear him trying to hit the gas, but I had it in valet mode. Um, if you know these cars, valet mode really kills all the power. You can't change none of the settings or anything like that. Um, it is extremely slow in valet mode. And I had it in valet mode for that particular reason. Let me show you the other clip and I'm going to go back and explain kind of the issue. the clip i'm showing you this is when we go to check out and they bring the car down um this is where you can see the valet person they come they you can hear the car my car start up at first um he's not in the car he remote started the car and then when he walks up close to the car you can see him with his cell phone recording the car as he's getting into the car then he gets in the car keep in mind that my car has been sitting all night you can see the time frame at the bottom it's like about 8, 8 a.m in the morning we're checking out um, the car's been sitting there the whole night. We're in uptown, so I didn't really need to have my car anywhere. And so it pretty much sat there from 10 to 8 in the morning. So the engine's pretty much cool. It, it's kind of chilly and whatnot. I mean, it's about April at this point in the morning. So it's not really fully warm in the morning like this. It's maybe a little chilly. So he gets in the car, starts up, sits in the car, and starts revving my car. So those are the clips, man. Those are the clips of the situation, of what the valet people did with my car. First one, like I was, was saying, um they go through the gate he even says he's scared to hit the car hit the hit the gas on it he gives him the curve to hit it he says he's gonna do it anyway and he even said I'm, i could lose control of this thing and still does it the thing that gets me about that is the fact that you knew what you were doing could potentially result in something happening granted i had it in valet mode but if i didn't put it in valet mode if you know these cars even if you have it in eco mode just normal mode like it does have enough power to skirt the tires and get a little loose if you hit the gas hard enough. He was gonna do that if he if it wasn't in valet mode. You can hear him trying to do it. You can hear the car trying to accelerate. Now the, the thing about it, even though my dash cam has a GPS on it, um, you really it doesn't work inside because the GPS can't pick up, so you can't see the speed. But he was definitely, I think he was going a little kind of fast in the parking garage. Maybe hard to see on the camera, but um, felt like he was going maybe a little faster than he needed to be in the parking garage, which. In itself can cause another hazard because you got other cars other people people come around the corner and you don't want to sit there and run into somebody um, especially if you're driving a car that is not yours so that's that's that first clip right and the second clip that i show you the guy remote starts the car hops in the car starts revving the engine and the car's been sitting all night so the engine is 100 percent cold that is something i don't do in my car ever i i mean i drive it hard and th things of that nature but i don't I don't wake up in the morning, hop in the car, start revving the engine, or or if my car's been sitting, I don't do that. I don't hop in the car, start driving it hard when the car's been sitting for a while. I drive it kind of easy until the temperatures come up, and then I'll, I I can push it a little bit more. But those are things I don't do with my particular car. Um, I, I don't rev it and things of that nature. I'm not going to drive fast through a parking garage. Now that that's the situation what happened. Um, you can kind of hear if you hear the little the the clinking stuff. Those are like wine bottles. Me and my wife we went to a um, went to a wine tasting, so we had bought a couple bottles of wine and whatnot. Um, you know, she likes, now I'm going to say this, she likes wine more than me. I'm a, um, I'm, I'm a whiskey bourbon type drinker. So, uh, so let's not get that twist and nothing wrong with drinking wine, but I'm just telling y'all. But you can hear him going through the parking garage and he's trying to whip it a little bit. It bothers me a little bit because those, these are things that I don't do with my car. I don't do those type of things in my car. Um, I, I don't, I'm not going to drive past to a parking lot. I'm not going to rev it. I've been in this situation before where I work at a job where I was in control of other people's cars. Um, in the past I worked at, um, I worked at a well-known 
electronic store and I did car audio installations which gave me the keys to everyone's car and they trusted me to take care of their car and when you're in a situation where you're trusted to take care of cars especially at a hotel of that caliber like we're talking five-star hotel and you're getting some high-end cars you need another level of respect for what you're doing because it, it wasn't like he didn't know what he's doing he said in the video that if I hit the gas I might lose control of this thing like you know what you're doing is wrong but you still do it putting I mean you put your job at risk I'm not sure how they handle that type of thing um, you putting the company you work for the, the hotel chain you work for at risk because if you mess up my car y'all are gonna I got insurance but that shouldn't that shouldn't be on me to take care of or something like that so i know i know what you guys are thinking like okay you found this on on your camera what did you do next well like how did you handle the situation so this is what i did so i reached out to to the hotel i reached out to him i reached out to him on social media i, uh, I sent him a um i sent him a message like look i got this video where your employees are not treating my car as i, I as i think it should be treated as a customer i'm paying you guys to park my car and take care of it i'm not paying you guys to have fun in my particular car some of you guys be like it's just a scat pack i don't care i own this it, I, it would be a honda camry prius i do not care if it's something i'm paying for you're not paying for and i'm only paying you to park my car that's what you should do is just park my car um so i let them know like hey i have this on camera your employees did x y and z i don't I mean i'm not sure how you handle this but i'm letting you know this is what happened and i don't like it so that, I, that was back in april i think i reached out to him in april and right after it happened it's what where we at it's august i gave him a chance to work on it he even talked to me on the phone and like yo we're gonna we'll call you back we'll we'll take care of it i ain't i ain't heard back from him since so here we are um here we are um that hotel ain't reached out to me so i don't know what's happening those guys might be still there um having fun in your car if you have something that is not normally something they get to drive so uh that's that but my main my main thing is this right i know i do stuff in my car but i do stuff in my car um i'm not going to sit there and risk uh, damaging someone else's property. I'm not gonna risk doing something that could jeopardize my job or the company I work for and things of that nature. Because the thing about it, Grant, yes, I got insurance, right? Like I said, I, I got insurance, full coverage, all that stuff. But my car's brand new. I, I don't even have 20,000 miles on this car. I don't have, I still don't have 20,000 miles on it. They're not making these cars anymore. And typically if you hit, if your car gets wrecked or something, they're gonna try to replace the parts with like, used parts and stuff like that not enough not anything brand new like gonna try to be cheap replacing things and plus i don't want an accident on this particular car i had an issue with my challenger i talked about it in a video a while ago where i got hit in my challenger um and i don't want to have an accident on this car i want to keep this car for as long as possible uh, i'm not planning on trying to trade hold on to it and let the value go up i mean it may go up or whatnot but i bought this car to enjoy and have fun but at the same time i don't want someone going out here driving carelessly in my car when you when it could have been avoided and putting my stuff at risk right um i think that is 100 percent irresponsible and i'm definitely upset that that particular hotel and management did not do anything about it they they didn't call me back or anything of that nature i don't know they could have did something about it but they they said we're going to call you back i didn't ask them to call me back they said that so they made that promise i know we've seen plenty of videos on social media and various places where mechanics will go for a joyride and pick people's cars and they're crashing them and wrecking them and things of that nature where people may you know do other disrespectful things for people's cars if you have them getting wrapped they may take him for a ride and things like that um it's important to have a dash cam definitely important to have a dash cam i've seen in some places where they may even you know unplug it and whatnot the, the crazy thing about it is like they were so excited to hop in the car and just drive it and do whatever they even noticed my dash cam right there like if you get in my car there is a cord that runs down you can see it I'm, i need to get that taken care of but it's a cord literally right there it's the dash cam literally is right in your face and they just they let their excitement kind of get the best of them and did what they did with my car now granted there was nothing wrong with the car or anything at that at, you know nothing wrong with the car um when it got back but still it is to me it is the principle of the matter that i'm paying you to park my car i'm not paying you to go have fun in my car i have fun in my car i'm putting the gas i'm doing the maintenance i'm putting the tires on it i'm keeping this car running so that is the nature of the situation that happened everyone um like i said i haven't heard back from them they haven't said anything I don't know if they handle it. I hope they did, but they ain't told me anything. I mean, I mean, I even told them, look, uh, this video, I, I got a video of it. It's, it's easy. It's easy to tell that they did these things. They said it themselves. So 
Um, if something does come up, and I might post a video on, on so I'm gonna post a video on social media, so I'm gonna tag them in it too. Um, I bet they'll say something then, but um, I'm not gonna tag them on YouTube though, probably on Instagram. I'm definitely gonna post on Instagram and see what they say at that point. But that's my feel, that's my spiel on it, man. Let me know your thoughts. Um, if you've been through it, if you had people try to joyride your car when you're getting work done or or valet or things like that, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you made it this far in the video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you haven't done that already, please and thank you. As always, we'll catch you on the next video. We are out. Cut it.